this lecture will focus on three very important aspects. Number one, is research important? This question will be answered like why do we do research? Number two, has research contributed to any improvement in healthcare, any reduction in economic cost or in the outcome associated with major medical diseases? So this will be answered by showing you the US data where the federal funding to the NIH has resulted in significant improvement in the healthcare in US. And lastly, I'll also focus on the problems that are uh, existent in the existing research grant models which is adopted by the funding agencies. We are now doing research which is not looking at a longer dimension or a larger perspective. It is rather focused on short term out quick, uh, outcome and quick benefits or is focusing on pharmaceuticals which are associated with lifestyle diseases rather than any specific uh, diseases where short term therapy is required. We need to know what is the purpose of medical research, why we do medical research. The purpose is to advance knowledge for the good of society, to improve health of people worldwide and to find better ways to treat and prevent disease. So in a way research will modify our contemporary practice, we'll make it better so that we are not harming the patient, the treatment modalities become more effective. There could be various types of researches that can be done. They may be focusing on the treatment modalities, whether it is medication, whether it is radiation therapy or surgery or testing a new device. It could also be a preventive research where we are trying to prevent certain disease by vaccines, by certain medicines, vitamins. We could do diagnostic research where we are trying to diagnose medical diseases, looking at new modalities, new ways to diagnose disease. We could also do large screening research where we are trying to identify certain, uh, ways to detect certain disorders or health conditions. We could also do quality of life research where patients are suffering from chronic uh, illnesses. So how can we make the life better? We could do genetic studies where we could look at genetic predisposition to certain medical diseases and find customized therapy which can help the patient. We could also do large scale epidemiological studies where we are trying to identify the causes, the patterns, the control of disorders in a group of people. So they may provide us with baseline data for further research. Now let us look at a very important aspect. The question comes to mind is, is research helpful? I will give you an example of NIH, the National Institute of Health in the US, which has the largest funding globally from the US federal government. Now, looking at...